mostly going to talk about the solo to the song Carmelita, uh, the Linda Ronstadt version. It's a it's a song by Warren Zevon that you've probably heard before. And by the way, if there are any kids listening, don't get strung out on heroin on the outskirts of town. Don't do that, or anywhere else for that matter. But uh, it is a good song. Uh, Linda does a great version of it. And I would swear probably that most people think that that solo is a pedal steel solo, but it's not. That is uh, Wadi Wachtel playing his uh, Gibson Les Paul with a volume pedal. And very cleverly does a really good job of mimicking a pedal steel guitar. And I happen to have a volume pedal here. I have a Gibson Les Paul. So I thought I'd give it a shot. And uh, so let's see how that works. Now, one critical thing to getting this uh, faux steel sound is a volume pedal. And I'm just using this one in this, in this uh, head rush multi effects unit I have here. But, uh, Um, you want to have it backed off a little bit before you play uh, your phrase and then and then you kind of just uh, you don't want the attack to be so abrupt you want it to be more like a violin so uh, as you play the uh, the note you uh, increase the volume Makes it sound a lot better. Okay, let's uh, start off on this solo here. Uh, the first thing you do is this. And that's just a, a C triad, starting at the ninth fret on the G string, which is the, the major third of a C. So it's go down to a C on the 10th fret of the D string, and then up to the seventh fret of the B string for the fifth. And that comes in on the two of the bar before the solo really starts, the solo proper. So it's one, two, three, four, one. Like that. And then you start off with this thing. You're playing over an F chord when the solo starts. Uh, actually, I mean, you. this thing is a C, obviously. But then it goes to the, to the F. I'll dispense with the volume pedal for now so I can show you how it goes, but it's like... Actually, it kind of cuts off that. You start off like this, which is a bend from the... Uh, you're bending up this G note, 12th fret of the G string. You're bending that up a whole step while holding down the C note on the uh, 13th fret of the B string. So you bend that up like a pedal steel. And pedal steel bends, by the way, are a little bit different than guitar bends because they're, being as they're done mechanically, they're just like all or nothing. They're like, rather than kind of a, a more, like a guitar bend. So try to make it more mechanical sounding, uh, more or rather, I guess, more pedal steel like. And then you go, you hit these two notes, which is a uh, 13th fret of the E and B string. So uh, the phrasing of this is, is, uh, is interesting. It's like this. Um, so you can see you kind of have to cut off that, you have to kind of cut off that bent note and play the, that uh, E and B string little chord, you have to play that staccato. Yeah. 
So let's let's go over that. Bending this G note up to an A, and I, I don't know if I've said this, but everything should be played hybrid picking. Like you're you're picking that note, you're picking the lowest note of the triad, and these two you're playing with your fingers, so it sounds like this. And uh, that's because that's the way uh, pedal steel players play. They use finger picks. Anyway, and play with their fingers rather than strumming. When we get down to the C, it's like this. So, this is the, uh, it's the 5th fret on the G string played with the 8th fret on the B string. And then you go up to the 7th uh, fret, then you bend that up a whole step, back to the uh, original chord. And then this, which is a fragment of an F chord, and it's uh, it's this C note on the fifth fret G string added to this F note on the uh, sixth fret of the B string, and you you take that up uh, in inversions like this. So that's the, you know what that is. Then we go up, we slide that up to the uh, 10th fret, G string and B string. And then up to the 14th fret of the G string and the 13th fret of the B string. These are all bits of, a, of an F chord. And then we go to this thing. First thing you do, that's just a uh, 14th fret to the 13th fret, 14th fret on the G, 13th fret on the B, then play, bend the uh, 15th fret of the B string up while playing the 15th fret of the G string. Then bend the G, bend the, uh, G string another half step. So what you want it to go like this. But you do it with bends. So this last lick, the melody is going to be like this. But you want to get this high note in there too, the, the G note on the on the E string, on 15th for the E string, so it's play those two strings uh, simultaneously. I'll do the second half of the solo slowly. Thank <laughs> you.